Welcome to Star Wars 20. How you doing? I am Dave. This is John. So um, today we're going to be talking about some of the Rogue One Easter eggs. Yeah, we wanted to get a lot of them, but we didn't want to focus on some of the silly ones that no one cares about. So we want to focus on ones that have to do with the actual story and stuff like that. Yeah. And so uh, Jonathan uh, compiled a list um, after learning how to read, and we were all very proud of him. Yes. So, and I know this isn't going to be all of them, so if you can think of more... Post in the comments some more and we'll talk about them. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. So we're going to start with the obvious ones. The blue, blue milk. milk. Yeah. Yes. That was an awesome little scene right in the beginning. Got everyone happy and hyped for the movie. Yeah. A bunch Took of us right back just like that. Right. Like, okay, we're back. Yeah, a lot of people in the crowd were like pointing and kind of looking over, which yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. And then yeah. you were saying about the mention of uh, Obi-Wan? Yeah, that was another pretty obvious one uh, when Mon Motha was talking to uh, Leia's uh, Senator about. Organa? Yeah, he's talking yeah. to him. And he's like, can you bring your friend in and all that? It was pretty much, most people know they talking about yeah, the, one. That yeah, was a the nice little desert. one. I don't know if we had a photo of that, but we did have a photo of the blue milk to show you. Yes, and but as he's just, looking for that picture, it's like, uh, you know, there uh, also Bail Organa was talking about somebody that he would trust his life with, which he was actually, I thought he was referring to uh, Leia. He does because he says, I trust my life. Oh, yeah, I trust her with my life. Yeah. And so uh, I've only seen it. I've only seen it four times. I'm sorry. I haven't memorized the whole movie yet. Yeah. So those are some of the easy ones. Let's go to some of some people might have not caught, like the Dejaric. If you guys know what Dejaric is, is the game that the chess game with the monsters mm -hmm. that they, they played on the Linea Falcon. Chewie and C3PO were yeah. playing. Uh, this is, and yeah. He, and he says, uh, he's like, I, I, it'd be wise to let the Wookiee win. Let the Wookiee win. Yes. But, yeah. So, so the, but then in the Rogue One, in the photo here, you see some of Saab's rebels playing it, but like more like with actual figurines. It's actually really cool and more gritty, and that's not just they yeah. don't have the technology for holograms. So that was a little fun little Easter egg. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go to the next one. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was uh, another obvious one: the C three PO and R two D two when they're leaving Yavin. Right? Uh, yeah. All the ships are leaving to go to the space battle and. C-3PO and R2 are there. Yeah, that was one of the few scenes in the movie where it was like, ah, it was a little, uh, no pun intended, it was a little force. <laughs> and so, yeah, but, it, but, but it happens. It was, you almost had to have them because if you didn't put them, people would say, where's, where's R2? Yeah, where they at? But yeah, it's kind of just like, okay, there they are, please, people happy. But it made a lot of people cheer in this song, which is cool. Yes. Right. And you came up with a very interesting one, the uh, the weapon, the rifle. Oh yeah, the DC-15. Everyone heard it loud and clear, but a lot of people didn't know where it was when... They were on Scarif. Yes. And you hear two stormtroopers say, Oh, you hear that they made the DC 15s obsolete? DC 15. They Thank said DC 15s are obsolete. And everyone's like, Oh, what are those? DC 15s were the blasters the clone troopers used mm -hmm. in the prequels. So, pretty much saying they're obsolete, they're still pushing out more of the prequel stuff, the older. He has a Clone reference like a, yeah, like the a relics throwback. to the old world. Yeah. Now they're going to go to the new ones. Uh, e11 blasters, I think they're called the new ones. Sure. <laughs> so, but and yeah. then, uh, a it, another one, little quick one, real quick was you saw the yes, something like that. I agree. <laughs> so the uh, go ahead. <laughs> are you talking about the files? The files that they <laughs> saw. <laughs> I'm talking about the files. So there's a file. No, 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 actually... no, no. Clone troopers. Okay. The tanks. The clone troopers use the tanks with a K. The tanks. The. Okay. It was like uh, wasn't the walkers, but the ones with the wheels they used to transport a lot of troops in, was also what they were repurposing as prisoner transports. If you remember that in the right in the beginning of Rogue One, was they released. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a repurposed Clone War trans Clone transport. All right. So I just. Can't... You okay? <laughs> trying to focus here. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so anyways, what else you got? Uh, when Jen was searching through the files of the... Yes, towards the end. The, all the files they had in the scare. Thousands and thousands of files. Uh, Jen's reading a few of them, and... Yeah, when right before she discovers the one that says uh, Stardust, and she knows when re referencing she says, her... Um, yeah, Dark one, Saber. Yeah, one no, she says Black Saber, my bad. She says Black Saber. Yep. But that's a reference to the Dark Saber, the Mandalorian... One of the first lightsabers, the Mandalorian mm -hmm. lightsaber. I don't know if it's a Sith lightsaber, but Mandalorians you own it now. Well, now in the Star Wars story. But whoever wields that blade is the leader of the Mandalorian. So yeah. it was pre Vizsla, and then it went to Darth Maul, and then right now in Rebels, Sabine has it. Okay, so the next one we got is, uh, um, if you remember in Episode 4, uh, New Hope, 
Um, there was an empty seat in like the Death Star, well, yeah. like yeah, the conference room, and there was an empty seat. So there's actually that might Vader be a connection there. Vader and Tarkin were there, and a bunch of other the important generals. You, so you think is a very important meeting. So you think as many as the generals were there, mm -hmm. or commanders, or directors, were there. And there's an empty seat, so the rumors are going around that there was Krennic's, which yep. is really Krennic. awesome idea. Yep. Coincidence, maybe. But it's more than cool I think, But it's cool to think about it. Why not? Yeah. So. What so else you got? We got uh, the cantina thugs. Oh, another fun, obvious one. The cantina thugs. We have a cool little picture from here. What yeah. are the nicknames everyone calls them? The uh, there was Walrus Mouth, Walrus and then uh, I forgot what his. But then this other guy, the, the guy with the, the the jacked up uh, the the Forest Whitaker eye, he's actually um, he's supposed to be a doctor. So, it was a doctor. Yeah, or Radiohead eye. I don't want to be you know like the lead singer Radiohead has got that eye too, and so we just lost a viewer because he just stopped watching us. Sorry, you're an eight viewer. Like, <laughs> so there's like eight percent of our viewing audience if we lost one viewer. <laughs> yeah, so it was really cool to see them in. Uh, that was on Jeddah, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, you see so. them really quick, and it's just a really cool little. Was it Jeddah in. or was it the planet before? It was Jeddah because that was when Cassian and Jen bumped into them. Okay. Yeah, it was a really cool oh, reference right. to see them. Cornelius Ebazan and Ponda Baba. Honda Baba is a walrus face. And Cornelius Everzan. Yeah. Was Actually, Shaker. I'm sorry, it's Dr. Cornelius. Told you it was Everson. a doctor. Wonder what his PhD's in. Um, it's not plastic surgery. And definitely not optometry. <laughs> and so facial reconstruction. He looks like um the what was his name? Uh from uh, Hannibal. Um uh Jody Foster. M Mason Verger. No. <laughs> he looks like Mason Verger from a Hannibal. The Gary Oldman's character. <laughs> so, so anyways. We gotta get back on track here. Alright, yes. now, now the next one is Red Five. Red Five job opening. Yes. Yeah, you see it looks like a pretty young kid flying him. He looks really young, kinda of doing what he wants and Red Leader's kinda of telling him to watch his back. <coughs> He's got my nostrils. <laughs> you look at that? He's got my nostrils. It's a really cool picture. You see I the back of his helmet. From, but it's a really cool picture. You see the back side and inside of his helmet through those nostrils. So yeah, uh, yeah. you see him and you see Red 5. Everyone got a little... Everyone who really knew Star Wars got oh, Red 5, Red 5. Yeah. So it was really cool. Then you see him die. Yes. And then so that's how the Luke's so. job opening came yeah. up. So how'd that job interview go with you? Like, oh, yeah, that's another little quick little thing. Uh, the fact that it was gold team and red team in the original Star Wars because the blue team, they make them pretty much all die in Rogue One, but they weren't in the original one because Lucas used a lot of blue screens. Yes. So you couldn't, they couldn't do the... Superimpose it. Yeah, so they had to switch it to gold squad. So I like that fact. So they kind of wrapped that little loose in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty much. That's what they did. And I what should we do? Let's and I kill. predicted that they would kill them all. Let's just not kill them all. Yes. All right, what do we got next? We got the Vader's, Vader's Castle. Castle. I really like this. Everyone saw it. Everyone's like, oh, that's really cool. But a lot of people don't know where it's actually really from. Is Ralph McQuarrie, the original concept artist of Star Wars. His mm -hmm. amazing art. He drew Vader's Castle. I think they even call it, like, Bay's Castle. It has a weird name. I forgot the name of it. But uh, it, the concept art... Right here. Looks just like it. I know it's not Mustafar, but it looks like it's on the planet Mustafar. But it's just a big black tower with all this lava around it. It's really awesome looking. I'm really, really happy they put that in there. Yeah. I wonder what his HOA fees are. So, anyways, then Bast we got the Guardian Castle. Huh? Bast. B A S T. Bast Castle. Bast Castle. What does, it, what does B A S T stand for? Badass Standing Tower. So anyways, then we got the Guardians of the Wills, Badass Standing Tower. Bass right. is actually an acronym, like NASA. <laughs> Guardians of the Wills. This is one of the one that's going to be a little far-fetched for a lot of you guys. They finally mention it, first time in canon, in a movie, the Wills. The yes, it was part of the novelization of the original, uh, was it the was it's it actually the Hope or part of uh, episode three? The Re Revenge of the Sith, but yeah. Lucas mentioned it way in the beginning. His original plan for Star Wars was to be told, the Skywalker story told through the eyes of the Wills. These immortal beings that pretty much make up the Force, kind of. It's the, and it's kind of complicated, but that's why he scrapped the Wills, because it was going to make it a little too complicated, like the manifestation of the Force almost. So he scrapped that idea, and now they actually brought it back, and this in Rogue One. The only other time it was actually mentioned was the novelization of Revenge of the yeah. 
the Sith, because Qui-Gon is learning how to be a Force ghost from the Wills, from a Will Shaman or something like that. So he actually learns how to do it and teaches some of the Jedi how to do it. Badass Sith Tower. Bast. Badass Sith Tower. Talk about something really cool here. You can't even get him to focus at all. <laughs> Guardians of the Wills. So anyways, yes. No, but the Guardians of the Wills were actually the ones that, that's what Baze and uh, Sharut Imwe, Sharut Imwe is my personal favorite, they were actually Guardians of the Wills. Yeah. And uh, that's why you have uh, Sharut saying, I am one with the Force and the Force with me, I am one with the Force and the Force with me. That's what he used to meditate. But they were actually part of the Guardians of the Wills. Not necessarily a Force users, but they were definitely aware of the Force. Yeah, so, so that's really... Little cool little thing yeah. that not a lot of people know. That's going to be the one that very little people know about is the wheels. But yeah. look up some of his stuff on the internet. There's not a lot of information, but you do find out what George Lucas talks about them and how they how they teach Qui Gon how to be a force. Ghost. Yeah, and wheels is actually spelled W H I L L S. Yes? Wheels. Yeah. Wheels. Cool whip. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool whip. And what do you got left? The, uh, the last one's the one that everyone went nuts for. Everyone loved was all the Rebels cameos. I mean, you have the ghosts. I think I saw it 16 times. And we have an awesome photo right there. Up there somewhere where you see it yeah, in the, the corner. Yeah, the ghost is on the uh, and then if upper left-hand corner. If there. you're paying attention to the space battle, you see them zooming around all over yeah. the place several times. Everyone loved that. And then uh, we heard the right. page General Sindula. Yeah. So that was awesome. If you pay attention, you hear the page itself. Right after... Jin gets shot down for wanting to what, attack the Death Star. What was her plan? No, attack uh, Scarif. Remember, she was like, we should all just go. They mm -hmm. said, no, let's not do that. So pretty much, you, right after she walks out, you hear the page General Sindula. And then the last little awesome one, you see Chopper. Chopper. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And we think we have a photo of that, too, to show you. We don't. Get to the Chopper. I know I sent it. It's right there. Well, it's, it's, right, it's right there. See, you see Chopper? Right He's right there. Let's see, where's it? Wasn't it right? Isn't it this one? No, it's... Okay, well, we have it. It's there, see? <laughs> we still have it here. Technology. But yeah, he's awesome looking. We all love Chopper. Yeah. So who's your favorite character in, in Rogue One? In Rogue One, I actually, it's Chirrut and Baze. I love you gotta Chirrut. pick one of the, I already picked Chirrut. Chirrut and Way. I picked, so, I, so I pick think Baze. they're awesome. And I, my biggest gripe is I wish they actually didn't kill those two. I think they could have killed everyone off. I don't care. But those two guys, and maybe like K2 as a, that little trio fighting with the Rebels and like the Rebels cartoon or something, make their own spin off. That would have been awesome. People would have loved Baze and Chirrut. Yeah. But I mean, they're still my favorite of that, that Rogue One. But Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I agree. Chirrut is, uh, was my favorite. Because he's dead. Well, he died a long time ago. <laughs> In the galaxy. Far, far away. Yes. Actually, all galaxies are far, far away. Whoa, very <laughs> profound. Wow. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you for watching. Any more things that you want to comment on if we were wrong with our stuff or if you have any more uh, little Easter eggs or teasers, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to chat with you. Yes, thank you very much for watching. And may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. Thank you.